What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Gamer Dude here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we kind of did some things, did some stuff. So we got woken up in the morning by Kyoko a couple times, literally a couple times. We had dreams. It was great. Not really. We had a, we had, it was a very, very eventful episode. So you need to go back and check it out. I card here and yeah oh my god it was one hell of an episode monica was telling us it is time to have a beautiful day um so we'll find out how beautiful the day really is huh i thought kyoko was here it took longer than usual for me to open my eyes huh i let a deep sigh to bring myself up to the rest of the way the chills <coughs> oh, I like how i sneezed as soon as i said that that's great <coughs> the aches the unfathomable, unfathomable lethargy. They all had disappeared in the night. And that was left with me drenched with, that left me drenched with sweat. It wasn't because, just because of whatever bug I had caught either. So it was also the dream I had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto the fragments of the dream and reel them up like the depths from the depths of my memory. That's right. I remember last night. I came down with a fever and I couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then all of a sudden I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind was detached from my body, burning up with a fever. I was actually far away, watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately and feverishly. After that, things got black again. And the next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have to do have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No. Was it a dream? How could I possibly find out either way? Not sure, but we gotta go somewhere. Is there any way to confirm that I was really in a dream or not? Uh but going back to bed. I should Look for some kind of evidence. No. You can go back to bed. That's fine. Um, evidence that I'm in a dream state? I open the just drawer and... Huh? It's empty. There was nothing inside. Wait. Nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I am positive I put the knife from Toko in here. Wait. That means... Yep, 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 yup. The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I had just had a feeling it wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, it all makes even less sense. Why would some someone have attacked wanted to attack me? And who was behind that mask? And why was Kyoko what the hell's going on? Well, I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. Then I can tell everyone else about it. Leave the area? Yeah, we gotta go to the dining hall. What could have happened? Hey, Makoto. Hey, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. You sure is the sky's blue. Hey, Hina. Hina's the only one in here. Interesting. You really have me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean... Yeah, right after the nighttime hit, we all went to get to you. We were hammering our way at the doorbell, and you never answered. We thought maybe you had been, you know... <laughs> I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody would here would want to, you know. So anyway, what are you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why didn't you come to get me? Did something happen? Mm. Um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not quite sure if I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else so they can tell you about it. So everyone is waiting That's for me right. somewhere else or something? Oh, yeah, we stayed up the whole night. The 
whole night. <laughs> I lost rock, paper, scissors and had to get the breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you can... You, so you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Am I helping Hina carry it in the kitchen first? Right now I need to go to the gym. Okay, no. No, I'm not helping Hina carry it. I figured maybe that I would go be going in the kitchen to pick up the food to then bring it. But no, we're just going straight to the gym. Honestly, I'm okay with it. I'm here for it. It is what it is. I am so glad I learned of the running feature. <laughs> that has saved so much time. It has been actually hilarious how much it's saved. Even though I probably could have used the teleport feature and gotten here just about as fast. But it's like, I mean, it's just as fast. So there's no point in even being remotely worried. Okay, everybody's in the gym. Are we getting an emotive? I feel like we're going to get a motive. Ah, ah there he is. Huh? This oh, is hey, worse Nikoto. than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now, it's like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us to stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Just like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. And then I noticed they'd formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was. What the? Before I could catch myself, I cried out. Spread out, spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not even phased. What the heck is going on? Hm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? What in the world? Looks like it's been professionally disassembled. Disassembled. How is that possible? Tearing apart something like that isn't isn't that dangerous? Hero, I know you're on the front lines, but Biaki is who I really need to talk to about this. Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you tear? Say, how can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? What? Idiot! If, if you hadn't been sleeping in, you already know what's going on. Hey, come well, on. Well, I guess I'll handle it. I'll explain to you what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Byakuya found this little fella lying around here, when it, we, then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance, and then I found him here, just like normal. But however, <laughs> when I found him, he was in no more than a regular toy. He didn't, in, didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited here until nighttime officially began, and still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move, so I immediately initiated the disassembly process. <laughs> it was M -M Master Sister Stroke of Genius. A chance to find out what M -M made Monokuma to tick. Hm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. So whoever had enough free time to invest in something like that anyway. But, but besides that, what I'm wondering is why he did stop moving all of a sudden. Hmm. I thought maybe he had malfunctioned, but we didn't even have find any cause as we were taking him apart. So he didn't. If he didn't break so down, in other words, then maybe he happened to have er, something happened to his puppeteer or the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so, 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 so scared of Master, they ran away into the terror. Could it be? Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement in the morning, right? So who was that if it was not the Mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Mm. That's true. It has the exact. It says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey, hey guys. I don't think it's a good time for the light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is it? It's... Huh? It's what? Hm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? What? A b -b 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 bomb <laughs> That's super bad. We don't need to get rid of it. Um, Roger that. Hm. It appears that the bomb has a motion sensor. Any set of movements will... It sure is to go what? off. What? My motion sensor. For serious... Uh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Just a second. 
Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, uh. You're not fine. You're all uh uh uh. <laughs> I'll probably be. Should have mentioned the motion sensor. Uh, or I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. Jeez, <laughs> oh, don't scare me like that. <sighs> God, you're really the world's most spineless wearer of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. The century just getting started. Don't call that a race already. <sighs> Whatever. Just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it is not going to do any good. Uh, um... Oh, yeah. Good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Here, I put the bomb down, but it wasn't my, my main concern at the point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He had just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been? When I thought about it, it couldn't help but I couldn't help but think back to the night before, being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, um, Makoto. Huh. Hey. Don't haunt us. Did you hear any a thing we just said? So that's a uh, no no no. What are you? Some kind of brain dead farm animal? So, so sorry. Hmm. We're just saying that once we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive results. It's all clear. And now. try and uncover the mastermind's true identity. We're gonna go break into the headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now is our chance, wouldn't you agree? But, but if the mastermind comes back, well while we're in there. What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all of the other chickens. Then you can be chicken number six. Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I know I don't want to have to kill each other or anything else, but we have a chance Come now. On. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna run away or are you gonna join the fight? You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear. Okay then. We are gonna break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen. So prepare yourselves. <laughs> I will follow you anywhere, master, to the ends of the earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man, and I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We found the determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. To be honest, I forgot where that was. Oh. It's here. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I went to the wrong room. I went to the data center. Rattle, rattle. Hmm. It's locked, as expected. So what are you going to do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges. <gasps> but, wait. But the rules say... Hmm. We've seen the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. What? But like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we were in there... So, in other words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed to this. Is this what we're gonna... This is what we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna have to do it. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I mean... For serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it and rip the store down. Actually. Okay, but... How are we going to do this? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need some sturdy, something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The, that thing in the tool oh, shed. So oh, yeah, good. the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, we left the gym, and it was just before 9 o'clock. So it's probably nine on the dot now. It's all clear. Now. Okay then, get that pickup back here by nine oh one. That's straight up unreasonable. Uh, I, 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 
but by, by myself? Naturally. Surely. You like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that. Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> Unacceptable! But that took a ran off with a loud herd of rabbit elephants. Hey. For serious, though. Are we just going to knock this door down? <laughs> no problem. It's no problem to solve by running away. Find your stones and be a man. She's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger. But if the risk means solving the mystery, then we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Um. But maybe... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I am all the flubbus no. I'm totally flabbag flap staff. <laughs> Fap sauce. Thanks, Jill. What? What? Gross, where did that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill, where did you come you from? Me, so hello, hello. It is so wonderful as mur <laughs> murderous fiend well, here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. <laughs> come on. What about that pickaxe? Where is it at? <laughs> I was supposed to bring a pick an axe? <laughs> no, you sleeping or er, seeping imbecile, the pickaxe. <laughs> Seeping imbecile, oh master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. <laughs> Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously though, or did you forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega three fatty acids. That's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. But I think we already established their memory it doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. That level of usefulness I can find difficult to tolerate. Yes, ah, the yes. light bulb just went on. I see. That's why you wanted. I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> All right. Well, s we solved one mystery. That means that there's one mystery left. One more mystery. Huh? Yep. Now we need to figure out the age. identity of Object X. Oh, um... Now, what are you talking about? <sighs> Did you already forget what we were talking about? L you're like missing out on life. You gotta be kidding! I know I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> Curl boss! You, did you hear me? I found a corpse! A corpse? Yep. That's right, I found a corpse in the garden! I found a corpse in the garden. What, what did you say? Well then, before we head, enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something to look into. Come on. We're gonna get to that garden. Okay. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... I saw someone, saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covered, covering their face, and there was a knife buried in their stomach, up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? Deadly life. Okay, that's why they switched over, switched personalities. Just to make things clear. Last night, I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. Whoever it was. Now they're... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. I told you, there's a corpse hanging out right here! No way. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? You need to begin locking, looking around right away. However, be ever careful. There's no telling what you might find. We need to find out who actually who this actually is, but there's no way to tell with their mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell if anything about their body itself. The victim was a total mystery. There's only one thing I can do now. Is that the one whoever this is is that whoever this is? They attacked me last night in my room, but why? How do they wind up dead in here? Hmm. 
their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing, and all signs of life have come to a complete stop. That, thanks to the knife that has been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained bright red. It appears to be bl the bleeding has stopped, but the blood was that, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it, and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? huh? How can you tell her yeah. high heels? Well, I think the outline on her chest and the general shape of her body. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be. <laughs> okay, then. Let's just tear that mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. By the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand sh shot out towards the mask. And in the next instant... There was blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It 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 blew up. My vision started to dark. I prepared to pass out, but then... Come on. Hurry up and pass out. Put out that fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, the voice reached up and pulled me back out to earth. Someone pressed something onto my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on. Dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire, so I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Thankfully, it was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only an unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded! What did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body. I had never imagined it would explode. But, and now the body... What? what? It's burnt to a crisp. It's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Hmm. Who is it here right now? Huh? What? If you consider who's not here, then we'll quickly narrow down who it must be. Um... The only person missing... Uh, um... It's Kyoko. Kyoko? Then that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, but I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words, the mastermind. <laughs> what? 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 The mastermind. What the heck? Come on, there's no way the mastermind got charbroiled. Get serious. <laughs> I agree. Normally, the idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have a reason to believe that it may be true. <laughs> the mastermind being dead would explain the other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma could hardly move around if the master is dead, right? But... But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So if the same person very well could be the mastermind who planned this out, then according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. What the heck? He said the mastermind is a middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then, that could mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster. Is, is this a teenage girl? The teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? huh? Mukuro... Ikisaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak Academy. What? what are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko had confided in me. She had said that the 16th student here, there's a 16th student here in this school. What? You think you'd better tell us everything? I think you'd better tell us everything you know right now. Well, Kyo all Kyoko told me was. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikasaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of it. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt that I am right. I see. There's another student here, and it's female? That would match the body's characteristics. Oh, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind's a girl, Mukuro. And she's a student here. And she's the ultimate despair. If she's been hiding here in the school, some teen like some teenage Bigfoot. 
How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What the heck? None of it makes any sense. To just suddenly show up and then die? Hmm. I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. There may be clues to help us figure out exactly who it ah. is. Hey, wait. What? What? Um. Are we forgetting something? You know, Toko? What? what? Oh, yeah, she totally got blown up, huh? Hmm. Forget about her. The explosion... I'm sure the ver explosion vaporized her. Uh... Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. Huh? What hap just happened, Master? Stop talking. You declared the whole world to hear that you had never... To you, would you declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single mo molecule of oxygen. <laughs> oh, then... I don't mind from breathing in carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. What the heck? This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Right now I should focus on the body. I should take a close look at the body one more time. So, um... Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. There's something next to her body. It's... It's a key. Is this what Kyoko to took from Monokuma? But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key. But looking at it, I can tell it wasn't just any key. A shape like Monokuma. And probably the only key of its kind on Earth. That one's not. So, that's right. The key she, she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is... What? What is, what is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near her body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then? Hm. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? I see. The key you might give you access to areas we had thought were locked. You mean so in other words, the biolab, the data center, the headmaster's room, the dorms, and the second floor? It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. I am, like, pretty sure that that belongs. Wow, I'm going in a circle. We love that. We're here for that. If I had to take a gander, I'm going to say the data center is what this unlocks. It looks like a data center type key. The door to the data center was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I look to insert, insert the key I found in the garden, the keyhole clicked. It fits. Then this fits into the data center key. I managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone. I immediately headed back to the garden. So you're back. How did it go? I found which room it goes to. The data center on down on the fourth floor. Then we can get into the data center now. I see. Interesting. Then why don't we... Then why did we now... But why did the now deceased have deceased have that key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find that out. I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um. Hey, so when you open that door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, um. You're asking that question now. Hmm. Don't worry. We have Makoto. What? In other words, it's in your hands again. Hmm. It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm being used. I reached out, put my hand on the door, closed my eyes, and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. In the room... There was a st strange... I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with a kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... 
Hero extended his trembling hand and pointed. Look at those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed different s uh, a different section of the school. The dorm, the classroom, every part of the school was covered. This what? is... It's a direct feed of every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back to this go back to this room and they're displayed here on these monitors so that's it the sole purpose of this room is to watch us to watch us then this room is it's all clear the mastermind's private room without a doubt the mastermind's room so i guess that makes sense so the mastermind was here watching us <laughs> then i think that settles it huh hmm. The body in the garden. If they've had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. It was the body of Mukuro Ikasaba, and she was, in fact, the mastermind. Then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. For serious? It's too bad they had to go and die before a master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead. Could that really be true? And does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body... Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So, who was it then? But, but if the mastermind is really dead, Whoa! it means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and find an exit. Come on. That's enough. No, we have to check this thoroughly first. Huh? huh? What? Well, what about the exit? Hm. If the mastermind is truly dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now. <laughs> We need to find out why the Mastermind set this up a life or death game in the first place. And I am bothered by the fact that the Mastermind was obviously murdered. M murdered So you'd think so Naturally. too, huh? Naturally. Hmm. The state of the corpse makes it a plain it plain as day that there was obviously no doubt. The Mastermind was in fact murdered. Why is it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have done that? Such That's exactly why I need to investigate the pur the purpose of the and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you. Now do you understand how useless you you useless insect? You're banned from you're banned from to talking to master ever again. The mastermind's purpose, why they were killed. This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the mastermind must have spent. Who's, who knows how much time here. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the Mastermind. Agreed. And in the next episode, we'll uncover the uh, identity of this Mastermind. Um, but, yeah. We'll see you guys then. As I mean, I don't know. I really, truly have no idea what's going on. We haven't seen Kyoko. That worries me, obviously, because we stand Kyoko. We're here for her. But we'll see kind of what happens and what transpires. Bye!